How's it going everyone? I have some exciting news to share with you today. I have decided to fish my first bass tournament of the year. I will be fishing for my kayak against a group of guys. I want to say there's 10 or less, but uh, I used to do these tournaments quite a bit back in the day when me and Josh met, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to get loaded up here quick and we will head to the lake. Yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to kick some ass today. Just got to the lake. It is way windier than I thought it would be. Showed up a little bit late, a few minutes late. I forgot my measurement board. There's quite a few people out here, so already stay tuned. Ooh, this is some nasty water. Holy shit. That is disgusting. It looks like the lake turned over. So uh this could be interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Gosh. Not excited about that at all. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. I don't even want to touch it. All right. Come on, little blue, let's go. We got time to mess around. Usually when the water looks like crap like this, we'll use a jig. So my plan is to start over where I usually do, work the back waters over here. Not a whole lot of people back there, so. Okay, let's get started. Since it is windy, I think I'm going to tie a jig onto my braid pole. I don't know, we'll try this first. See what happens. We have first bass tournament of the year. It's exciting. Exciting, exciting. I decided to record it. We'll see how it goes. Start the recording on my head that'll be the easiest way to see it because i'm going to be scrambling to measure fish and take pictures so it's gonna be fun 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 i brought my little juicy juice today a little sugar not my first choice but i was late today all right here comes the jig i'm doing it so you guys get to come along with me while i <laughs> try to survive this and try to win the tournament uh Look at this disgusting water, wow. Kinda need a chatterbait right now, but I don't have one. Shit. All right, I think this is gonna be the deal. Three eight ounce hybrid jig. This is the dark water craw. I'm gonna try the darker colors. They usually work every time, especially when it's windy, especially in dirty, dirty water, nasty water. All right, we're going with the darks. This is gonna be it. <laughs> I say that every time too but it really is. This is gonna be light enough. It's gonna, gonna float across some brush piles and things. So I'm gonna use, let's see, this is the green pumpkin blue 4.2 inch. It's the prawn. I always take off the tippy, get her on there. Let's see, measure a little bit more. That should be fine. Maybe a little bit more. Try to get on as straight as you can. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. I'm just gonna stay in the same spot. Probably put my bait away. It already feels better. It feels so much better. Let's see how it swims. Hopefully the green is just like right on the top surface. This is disgusting. I will say my uh, bait casting skills are on point. But believe me, it took a long time to get comfortable with it. And like I said in the last video, always invest in a better combo. Otherwise, you're going to be frustrated as hell. Ooh, e. Honestly, I'd be surprised if I caught a fish today. It is so disgusting. Very shallow over here. I'm going to go see what this area is all about. If I cast out into Narnia once in a while, don't be surprised. They could be out a little bit deeper. There's a lot of hidden brush piles. And yes, I'm looking at the duckies. There's baby ducks right in front of me, right there. Just, just in their little herd. 
so freaking cute. Don't mind me, little duckies. Mama Ashley loves you. Oh, oh, I got one. Oh my gosh, I got one. Guys, 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 I got one. Yes. Get him, get him. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, gotta go back this way. Okay, okay. Coordination is key. Holy cow. All right. First one. All right, bud. All right, bud. Jeez. He ain't even hooked. Okay. Okay. This is the tricky part. Very, very, very tricky part. <sighs> okay. And this is a feisty bud, of course. Jesus. <sighs> okay. Right. Hopefully that did it. All right. Mwah. Let's do this thing. All right, I'm gonna try to submit a catch. And that's how it's done, boys and girls. There's a lot of things to coordinate with this, but I freaking love bass fishing. And I might have gotten big fish already. I just looked at the leader standing leaderboard and I have biggest fish, so <laughs> yeah. Let's keep her going. But yeah, that one was literally right in the middle of nowhere, so it's not as bad over here. Ooh, this is gonna be a spot. If I cuss, I, I'm sorry. It's really not going to be that bad. It's going to be pretty mild, so we'll see. Guarantee there's a ton of bass buds back here. Oh, come on. Frickin' trees. Okay. My kayak is not stable enough for this. The joys of kayak fishing. And this is where the day turns uh, south. Windy. Windy as shit. Where'd my other pole go? Um, are you kidding me? Oh, shit. Josh is gonna be pissed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Uh. Well, if anybody wants to pitch in and uh, help me by Josh Anu. Uh. <laughs> oh no, I am so upset. I cannot believe that literally just happened. Oh no. Josh is gonna be so pissed. <laughs> the bad part is I don't even know what point it actually fell in. I'll have to look back at the footage. Why don't know what the prize money is going to be for first place but uh if i win it's going to go to a new pool <laughs> oh. oh what a day as long as i don't lose anything else and that i can care less about but I just lost a combo. Yeah, it's in the bottom of Yankee Hill somewhere. <sighs> well, keep her moving. At least there's no bugs out, like holy dang. That would suck. And yes, I love bass fishing because they literally hit it so freaking hard. And they fight like crazy and they jump out of the water. It's just, how could you not like bass fishing? My dream is to go fish in Texas for like big bass. My biggest in Nebraska was 
seven and a half, I would say. Maybe bigger. Okay. I suppose. Oh, yeah, I caught a 16 just now. A bass. Oh, yeah. We were trying to get for panfish and for walleye, but... Oh, really? No luck? No, not really, but I think, honestly, we were just trying to get out here in the water. Yeah. The water's disgusting today, too. It is. It's really, it's kind of, it's kind of melty. Yep. What do you got there? Do you got a Hobie? Yeah, this is a Hobie. I saw it from a distance, and I told, told my buddy, I was like, yep. They're amazing. I know. I know. Especially... Oh yeah, especially when it's windy like this. I know. Because you just go and you go against the wind or whatever. Well hey, good good fishing to you. Yes, thank you. Alright, we're almost to the spot. All along the trees are where you're gonna find them. I always look in shallow areas. Literally, if you cast like right on top of shore basically. There's always one right there. So I'm gonna do just that. There's like this little secret canal area. We can get out of the wind a little bit, that would help. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? <gasps> stay on, stay on, stay on. Yes! Big! Literally, what did I just say? Hi, bud. Ooh, this is a big bud. Get me under the trees. This is a big bud. Ooh, got a hook in her ass. I don't want to lose her. Gotta get out of here though. Okay. Man, that looks terrible. I don't know if I can get it. Oh, oh my gosh, it came out. This was just in the fish's booty hole. Oh my goodness. Well, I saved you, girl. Saved your booty hole. Oop, 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 oop. It's okay, it's okay. You'll, you'll be okay. All right. There we go. Saved old girl. There you go. Yeah. All right. Another 16 incher. Let's go. That was badass. That was so awesome. Literally just cast it like right on that tree. Instant. Ooh, I love it. So yeah, that probably puts me in first. Literally right on shore. And I saved that fish. I'm so happy. Well, I just looked at the standings again and now I'm in third. I'm trying to win this shit. I know exactly where to go. I'm gonna go there next. Bass fishing is just so much more fun. When you're in a tournament competing against other people, it's kind of stressful, but if you do really good, you're like, heck yeah, it just feels nice. Here I am, out of breath again. We're almost here. The good spots. Okay, a little update. Uh, we're nearing the end of the tournament. I caught two 16-inch bass. One was a 16.25. Yeah, I'm having a little issue with my GoPro batteries dying, so I may not be able to record anymore. Um, but yeah, I will keep you updated on the score and what I ended up placing in the tournament. But thank you so much for watching. Yeah, stay tuned for next time's video. My Sixth Sense code is AnglerAsh. If you need any tackle, feel free to uh, use my code. But yeah, thank you again, guys, so much. I'm going to try to catch a few more fish. Um, and I'm going to try to record as much as possible. But uh, yeah, battery life is very low. So... Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. This is looking pretty gross, Jordan. No, I do not want to drink.
All right, well, we fished for a while, but I think the time has come to uh, try to get this damn rod out. Supposedly, she's back in there. I should probably tie a crankbait on, but I suppose the plopper will work. I got a screenshot of where it was dangling from a tree. It's right past the dirt patch. Um, yep, off to the left, I think. All right, I got to look at this screenshot again. There it is. There's that mud patch right to the left of it, and then it's that tree, and it was hanging from like some of those branches, so it should be in a little 10 foot area, about 15 feet in front of us. So treble hook baits to the bottom. Oh God, it smells terrible. Get underneath you here. I didn't feel anything. Oh, I felt something hard. <laughs> That would be a Shimano Stratic and a Lux rod. There she is. A little slimy. Little. <laughs> She's seen better days. I gotta send a selfie to Boo. After watching over her footage, I, I, at first I gave up and I was like, okay, it's gone. But then I watched her footage and saw it hanging from the tree. I was like, I can, we, I, I can get that. Mm -hmm. Ah, Boo, gotta love her. Got to love her.